delighted to have her join us here today at Richmond, so please show your appreciation for Anne MacDonald. And let's now have our seven group winners coming in. It's the Papillon from the Toy Group. The Irish Wolfhound from the Hound Group. From the Terrier Group, it's the Wire Fox Terrier. Representing the pastoral breeds, it's the Samoyed. And we have the Bouguer de Flandre from the Working Group. The Cocker Spaniel from the Gundog Group. And from the Utility of Group, of course, as you've just seen, it's the Sarpe. And first up to be seen is, of course, from the Toy Group, this is the Papillon. Have a big round of applause for all of our group winners as they go round individually. This, of course, is the Papillon. Now from the Hound Group, we come to the Irish Wolfhound. This is number 1476, a bitch. The Hound Group winner, the Irish Wolfhound. We move on to the Terrier Group winner now, and this is number 2465, a dog. Put through from the group by Susan Keeley from Ireland. The Wire Fox Terrier from the Terrier Group. For the parcel group, we now have the Samoyed. This is a dog, number 3114, who's awarded the group by Kari Yarvinen. The parcel group winner, the Samoyed. In the working group, we now come to the Bouvier de Flandre. This is the dog, number 4110. He was awarded the group by Stuart Mallard. The working group winner, the Bouvier de Flandre, 4110. And from the winning group today, from the gun dog group, we have the Cocker Spaniel. This is a dog, 6332. The gun dog group winner, the Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> Fresh from the utility group, of course, we now come to the last of our qualifiers. This is the Sarpe, number 4897, a male. The Sarpe from the utility group, 4897. And just rearranging her dog so that into size order so she can see them move again. Let's have a big cheer for our, all of our seven groupers that they go around. The Bouguer de Flandre, the Irish Wolfhound, the Samoyed, the Sarpe, the Cocker Spaniel, the Wire Fox Terrier and the Papillon. Anne has made her decision, so the boards are out. And the winner of Best in Show at Richmond 2016, it's the Bouvier de Flandre, number 4110. The reserve Best in Show. It's a Samoyed, number 3114. Huge congratulations to our other group winners. Let's give them a big cheer as they leave. The Irish Wolfhound, the Sarpe, the Cocker, the Wire Fox Terrier and the Papillon. Congratulations to all of you. Let's hear our lap of honour from our Best in Show winner, the Bouvier de Flandre, followed by the Reserve Best in Show winner, the Samoyed. So for the second year in a row, Best in Show at Richmond Championship Show has gone to Hector the Bouvier de Flandre. Fiona and Michael, that was another fantastic win because this is a huge show, it's a big deal. You must be over the moon. Yeah, completely ecstatic and it's his second Best in Show here on the, ro in the, on the trot, sorry. So yeah, over the moon. And does this put him in contention for possibly a sort of top dog this year now? I wouldn't have thought so, no, and he's, he's got very, very few shows he's going to now, so uh, it's probably his, uh, his, his last one of his big last, ones. <laughs> yeah, one of his last big ones it is this year. But it's amazing that he's actually only two and a half, but he's achieved so much in his little young life so far. Yeah, he was he's 21 tickets now, and his ninth group yesterday, and third Albury Best in Show today, and he had another group Best in Show, National Work In. So yeah, he's done really well, and one of the top dogs last year, and I think one of the he, I think he is one of the top dogs this year so far. He's, he's in the top ten. It's really interesting that next year might be quite a different year for him, <laughs> just purely because all the CC shows he's already had a ticket under all those judges. So tell the audience what does that mean? Look, he, 
all the judges that are doing next year that are going to be giving tickets they already have tickets under them so obviously we won't be taking them to those shows um, so I mean I think there's only one judge that I think can actually go under next year so we won't, there won't be a lot of Hector next year. <laughs> well we've certainly seen a lot of Hector this year and it's a pleasure to always film him, it's a pleasure to watch him and Michael you really do get the best out of him. Thank you, thank you. Well many yeah. congratulations and thank we'll hopefully see you again maybe sometime again this year. Lovely, thank you. Thank you very much, thanks a lot. Well, Anne, you're a best in show winner at Richmond, taking, taking pictures of him behind you, Hector yeah. the Bouvier. Yeah. What did you think of him? Oh, he's a fabulous dog. I have actually judged him once before, and it was a year ago at this show right. when I when he appeared in Not Classified, and I just thought he was absolutely stunning, and I still am that opinion. He's got a marvellous head, and he's such a sound and active mover. Just superb. And of course, last year he went on and won the group and then best in show there as well. Yeah, I believe so. I wasn't here to see him doing best in show last year. So at least you got to see him win best in show. That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and what about the Samoyed in reserve? Oh, Samoyed, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. He's a fabulous head and he's got all the attributes that the breed require. And I thought he was in magnificent coat and condition. Um, I thought he well deserved his reserve place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, you've judged Best in Show many times before. Yeah. How did this one compare to, to previous? Oh, I, it's hard to compare them because the group winners were all really, really nice. Um, some of them moved better than others, but there's, it, the, the difference when it comes to choosing out of that lineup, it's just nip and tuck, you know, it's yeah. so close. Well, thank you very much for talking to us and congratulations for judging Best in Show. Thank you.